Hey, this is JT here with Paradise RV Sales, and behind me I've got our all-new Coachman Freedom Express and our 320 BHDS. And behind us on this 320 BHDS, we got lots of new exciting features. Up front, I'm going to show you this. So we got the power tongue jack here. Uh, that's going to make hooking this trailer up a lot easier. It's going to make it a lot smoother for you. Uh, no crank in that handle. Um, you've got your two 20-pound gas tanks right here with the automatic disconnect. So whenever one uh, runs out of gas, it's going to automatically switch over for you. It's got this nice panel here so where you can easily access your tanks as well. You do have a spot for your uh, batteries right here on the, on the trailer's tongue. You also have your spare tire mounted under the front just like a truck for ease of access. In our front storage compartment here, you're going to notice a lot of cool features. You do have an outside table that it comes with. Uh, very easy to pull out right here. It just slides right out. You slide it right back up in here, just like so. Uh, you do have LED lights on the interior as well. Very nice feature, so you don't have to sit there and hold a flashlight or anything like that. Uh, you can just flip on those lights and take care of business. Uh, as we step back here to the side, one other thing that's really important about this camper is uh, to extend your winter camping season, they did include a fully and enclosed heated underbelly. So that is a great feature, especially if you like going up into the mountains uh, right when it starts getting a little bit cooler, those freezing temperatures start to hit. Uh, that is going to keep heat in your underbelly uh, while, it, while your heat is going inside. You'll notice LED lights underneath the entire length of the awning. You're going to have outside speakers as well with a porch light. You've got a 110 power receptacle. You do have a large grab handle, so that makes uh, walking into the camper a lot easier. You've got something really big to hold on to here. Also, you can uh, flip it like this for, for traveling. When we step back here to the side, you're going to notice you do have nitrogen filled tires. You also have the spread axle design, which is a great feature for these Coachman Freedom Express. It's going to make pulling this camper a lot easier. It's going to relieve some of that tongue weight off the trailer. We have a really nice outside kitchen here. I'm going to open this up for you. You have a spot for a TV. You can put right up here on this uh, little counter here. You do have hot and cold running water. You're going to have your little camp grill that pulls out. It is Coleman gas grill there for you. Uh, you do have some storage right here for your silverware. Very nice feature, so you don't have to run back and forth, get your silverware out from inside. You can keep your own separate set out here. You do have a nice apartment style fridge as well. And a little bit of extra storage up top. When we come back here to the back of the camper, you're going to notice you do have a fully welded square steel bumper. So you can uh, mount your bike rack back here, you can mount a luggage basket, um, anything like that you want. Uh, one other thing while we're back here at the back of the camper that you're going to notice is fully crowned one-piece TPO roof as well. So your water is going to shed off to the sides, it's going to hit these rain gutters, and then it's going to come to the end and it's going to shoot right out of that spout. You do have spouts on all four corners, so it's going to help with water running down the side of your camper, uh, alleviate some of those possibility of leaks. When we get back here to this uh, side right here, you do have a black tank flush valve, you've got your city water connection, you've got your 50 amp power source right here with detachable power cord. Uh, you do have your potable water and you have an outside shower, which is a really nice uh, addition. Uh, I have a black lab at home and I, the first thing she does whenever we go to the lake is she wants to run right down there and jump in. So this is how I spray off my dog, uh, great feature. Right over here, we are going to have our opposite side compartment door. So you do have a full pass through storage. Now come on inside and take a look at this all new Coachman 320 BHDS on the inside. The 320 BHDS has some awesome features. We're going to start right here in the kitchen. Uh, one of the most notable things is going to be this center island. A lot of your campers are not going to have a center island. Uh, one of the things that, that allows them to do this is th this slide right here uh, will actually expand out so you've got a little bit of extra space here. Uh, you've got plenty of counter space. You've actually got a 60-40 split dual American stone cast sink right there rated up to 500 degrees. Um, you're going to have a gas stove here with three burner cooktop, so you can do either three separate things or maybe one large pot. You also do have a gas oven here as well. Uh, tons of storage up underneath your center island. You've also got the gas and electric refrigerator right here behind me, and that is a six cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. You do also have tons of pantry space. This is a, a really nice pantry here. Put all your food, stow that right away. You never have too much storage when you go camping. 
Um, as we step over here to the side, you are going to see a really nice entertainment system with DVD player, Bluetooth, auxiliary, and USB inputs all uh, right here built in. This TV also does swivel, so you can rotate that around into the kids' room. You've got a nice dinette style booth here that does let down and make into a bed. And you also have storage up underneath the both sides of the bed as well. Over here, you're going to see a very nice couch. You've got cup holders in the sides as well. And that also pulls out into a large bed. Uh, we're going to have 82 inch tall ceilings in this particular unit. All LED lighting throughout. We'll walk back here into the master bedroom. You're going to see a full 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. Um, this unit is pre-wired for a second AC unit with a 50 amp service. That is really important. So when mama gets hot at night, you can have that second AC installed right here. It's already set up for it. All you have to do is tell us that you want it and we can get it put in there for you. You do have receptacles on both sides of your bed as well. So if you have phones or machines that you need to plug in at night, you've got a very convenient spot right there to put them. When you step into the bathroom, you're going to see uh, you do have a really nice foot flush toilet right here. You're also going to have your vanity area with a sink. Um, you also do have the fully glass surround corner shower with a skylight in the overhead for your extra tall folks. That is going to give you about another four inches of head space there. Make sure you're not bumping your head on the roof while you're taking a shower. One other thing right here is you're going to notice we do have a uh, charging station, which is a cool upgrade this year. I'm um, going to fold this down right here, and you can plug your phones in. You run your cords through the holes in the bottom here, and you can set them right there out of the way. No cords running all over the place or kids tripping over things. Also got a convenient place to hang your keys. Your thermostat, which is going to be a home-style thermostat. You can control heat, AC, um, and your fan all from that one location. You got all your slides and awning controls and uh, tank level indicators, hot water heater, and your electric water pump all right there. Back here in the bunk room, you got some really cool features. Uh, you do have a bunk on this side. You have your RV day bed down below. And uh, you've got some lights down there as well. Really easy to uh, reach and just flip on those switches. Um, you do have a hydraulic uh, shock here as well. So you can just lift that up and it'll hold it in place for you if you want to sit down there and have a little extra head space. Over here on this side, you are going to have a large bunk uh, with lots of storage underneath of it. All these cabinets open up for storage spots. For your TV, you can either leave it like it is facing towards the living room area or you can swivel this particular TV around and you can have this back here in the bunk room as well. Over here by the front door, you do have a really convenient coat closet. Uh, Tons of hanging storage up top. You can put your shoes right there out of the way. Keep from tracking dirt inside your camper. Very nice dish. One other thing that is uh, really special about this particular unit is the way that it's constructed. This particular unit only weighs 7,600 pounds and that's due to the aluminum framing. You have a fully welded aluminum frame construction on this particular camper. Lightens the weight, also makes it stronger. You can have styrofoam insulation in your walls and flooring. And you're also going to have an Asdale backer board. This is state-of-the-art technology. It's going to help the length of your, your lifetime on your camper, and it's going to also help lighten it up. Hey, everybody. I'm Daryl. This is my wife, Janet. We're the owners of Paradise RV Sales and Warrior. We just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for spending the time on our webpage looking at our inventory. We would like to invite you out personally to the dealership for one of our salesmen. Janet or myself will be glad to help you. We'll answer any questions. And here at Paradise RV Sales, there's never any hidden fees. The prices that you see advertised are the prices that we sell the campers for. So come on out and see us.